We should talk about the makeup and B30 bed and seating machine. This is a machine of compact design, simple but with all the necessary function, like the increasing circuit, non increasing circuits, the pressure gauge, and all the details of this machine. So, for this machine, uh, we can connect to a uh, oxygen concentrator or uh, oxygen cylinder to provide a uh, fresh air source. So we have to here at back uh, connect to the oxygen source. Uh, so after connecting to the oxygen concentrator, uh, oxygen cylinder, the air will come to this point. Either it will go through our flow meter, which will regulate the flow rate, or go directly through all our fast oxygen. So you simply when you uh, press this button, the oxygen will flow out directly into the circuit and supply the fresh air channel. Or the uh, oxygen will flow through this uh, flow meter uh, to with the operator. So with this flow meter, we can actually regulate the flow rate. Uh, we can range from zero up to four uh, liter per minute. Or we also have the option of 10 liter per minute. Okay, after flow meter, the fresh uh, oxygen gas will flow through the operator. So with this, uh, after flow, with this uh, operator, the Battery will uh, regulate uh, the, um, uh, the concentration of an acetic agent, uh, which will be carried by the fresh gas. Okay. After that, uh, the the gas mixed with oxygen and an acetic agent will come into uh, this joint. We have both now producing circuit and reducing circuit. So what we can do, we simply use this model to switch between the circuits. So in, in case we're going to use the non producing circuit, which is applied for small animals, uh, normal and 7 kg, we just switch to the left side, then the gas mixed and see the gas agent and oxygen will come into this circuit uh, to the animal, inhaled by the animal, and the west gas will be a uh, 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 discharge through this uh, tube into a waste gas uh, tanks. Okay. In case we're going to, but for this kind of circuit, the problem is that all, as we know, 97% of the uh, anesthetic agent, like uh, aspirin or sulfuran, will be exhaled. And uh, if we just discharge it into the waste canister, it will be a really a waste as this kind of uh, anesthetic agent is not cheap. So in that case, to save the anesthetic agent, we may use the rebreathing circuit. So we simply switch the model to the right side, then the anesthetic gas will go in this circuit. So in this circuit, uh, we can see here, we have the unidirection valve. So for this valve, the gas will flow to this direction only and inhaled by the animal, right? So uh, the exhalation gas, exhaled gas, the waste gas exhaled from the animal will go to that way because this valve is unique direction. It cannot go back to that way. It only allows the gas to go back to uh, that way. So. The west gas containing carbon dioxide and the agent and also the, uh, the oxygen will go into that way to the uh, canister which contains the absorbent. So up passing through the canister, all the carbon dioxide will absorbed. Okay, and passing through this canister, the gas will only contain anesthetic agents and also the oxygen, okay, we don't have to patient again, so the oxygen and also the anesthetic agent will be reused, okay. 
we could also notice that we have a bond here which is called APL bond. So with this bond, uh, the pressure uh, uh, above a certain value of a uh, limit uh, it will be discharged uh, um, by this outlet in a waste gas, uh, waste gas uh, uh, canister. Okay? So, and also in the whole process, they definitely will uh, close monitor the pressure gauge to monitor the pressure because the pressure over a certain limit will, will definitely cause um, harm to the, the patient lung. So it's very important during the whole process that definitely will uh, cause monitor this value. In case the uh, pressure is increasing, then uh, the, the veterinary may uh, turn the APL valve to release the waste gas, or they simply uh, put it up to let gas release fast. Okay, this is the function of an APL valve. And we also should notice that we have a, a port here that is connected to the uh, breathing back. So with this breathing back, the air that the animal could breathe uh, freely. You can observe this breathing back, the, the movement of the feedback to observe the rhythm of the breeze. And uh, in case the patient do not have a spontaneous breathing, we need to connect a ventilator to this port to help animal to the uh, mechanical ventilation. Yes, that's all of the other veterans' situation.